I'm Suzanne LeBeau and I'm here out at Patterson Park at the Washington Theater where my paintings are on display for the month of April. I decided to call this exhibit experimentation because all of these pieces are done using um, non brushes. So I either use palette knives or sometimes used um, credit cards and um, they're acrylics, mostly acrylics. Some of them, some of them I use foils or plasters or even rust. I have rust, a, a metal paint that I have then activated and rusted to a certain extent and um, that's part of what the experimentation is about. Another thing I like to use is upcycled materials. This is when things are destined for the dump and I figure, well, let's keep one more thing out of the dump, please. So um, I put things into my art like CDs or mirrors. Um, a lot of the canvases I use were used by someone else and then I just reuse it because I don't want to see it go into the dump. This show out here at Patterson Park is my very first one woman show. I'm really just um, an amateur. I'm not a professional artist or anything. So the fact that these venues give us an opportunity to, to show our work, I mean, I hope some people will get to see it. That's always exciting. But just the fact of getting it out there and sharing it, a part of art is to be able to share your vision or just your way of seeing things. And it's kind of like a musician, a musician playing alone in their room. And sure, it's fun, but it's just so much more exciting to be able to share it. Art in itself is very important in a community because not only does it let the the community members express themselves. It can be, it can be a political statement. It can be, in, like in this case, this is more of a meditative thing for me. It, it helps me to relax. Believe me, when we have a year like we've had recently, and I needed to just get away from it all and get into my zone, I turned to this kind of art because I never know where it's going to go. I start out by just squirting paints and then it just sort of flows. But not only that, but it, it also has an economic impact in the community. If, if you've got a thriving community, um, you, you can kind of tell it because you've got a good art community going on. And businesses know this, and we want to draw as many people into Murfreesboro as we possibly can um, for their business and tourists and things like that. It's, you know, some people like to go and just look at art. So it has many good, um, good reasons for being around. The piece to my left here is called Copper Circles, and this is a good example of one of my upcycled items. A uh, place had a whole bunch of mirrors they were getting rid of, and so I now have thousands of mirrors, and so I need to put more into my art. But the, the piece came by me putting some glass art, um, excuse me, some glass paint onto the mirrors and then I took that and put some copper around it and from there it just gave me the idea of using the circles around it. This one was done mostly with finger painting so I used my hands a lot and just swooshed it around. Now lots of people that view this see many different things and every time it's something new I think well wow I didn't think of that and that's part of the fun about abstract art because different people can interpret it different ways and I cannot um, take my what I feel about it and put it into their minds it's only what their personal experience has that helps them to interpret it and then over here this piece is called splash it was it's one of my larger pieces I enjoyed making this although it made me a little lightheaded it is also done with no brushes it was done with acrylic inks instead of the thicker paints. And I used a lot of straws to blow the paints in different directions. I also used hair dryers. It was originally done on white, but I had it sitting for a few days and just it just didn't speak to me. So I decided to make the edges of it black. And I think that really made the colors pop, especially the iridescence, which you can't really see with the lighting here. but. They do pop out if you look at it from the side. This piece is called Rusted Pipe. And the reason it's called that is because the pipe itself is painted with a metallic paint that has iron in it. It's a very heavy paint. Um, and then you put an activator on it, which helps it to rust. Uh, you have to then stop it and seal it at the particular point where you want it to stop or it will rust its way right through your canvas. 
The rest of it was done as a poured acrylic painting, which was cool. This is an older painting, which was done before all these poured acrylics were popular. And I did it by propping it up against a fence and just throwing paint at the canvas. So it was a lot of fun to let it drip down and try to control it. But a lot of art is beyond our control. It kind of does what it wants to do. So I thought that it um, made it a little more interesting and so I went with it. This piece is called Impact and it was actually made live during one of the borough art crawls. That's another wonderful thing. If, if we get this going again, we can travel around and see different artists throughout the city. Um, and some people are painting live. But at the time I was thinking about Hurricane Katrina and I had some people from New Orleans that had moved up here afterwards because their home got incredibly, totally destroyed. And from moving up here, how their life impacted me and the storm impacted the community, it just made me think. And so it's in the shape of a hurricane and um, it just reminds me about how one small thing, whether it's a, a pebble in a pond or a storm, can have an impact on many things far away. This piece is one of the first ones that I did using the credit cards, room keys, whatever you want to call it, um, by swiping and pulling paint every which way to make different marks on the canvas. And I call it good luck because it originally started out as a letter C, but as I turned it around, I liked it looking like a horseshoe. And then as I was looking at that, I decided to add some um, metallic foil where you add a sticky size to it and then come back and add the foil onto it just for a little added pop. As we close things out, I thought you might like to see one of my favorite pieces. Uh, it's called A Little Dissonance. Uh, this piece actually had so many different lives. It has about eight layers of paint on there. I kept changing it and changing it. Um, it was originally almost all oranges and reds and I thought it was just too vibrant and it just jarred with me. So as I started to add a few of the cooler colors, the relaxing blues and purples and greens, um, it's, it's like I just kept pulling it back a little bit more and a little bit more. And as I did, it sort of started to come to, to life for me personally. So as I left it, it, it reminds me that we all need a little dissonance in our life. If all of our life went along smooth and in the blues and the cools, uh, it would get kind of boring after a while. So we need that little pop every now and then to remind us how wonderful our lives are. And that's kind of what this one means to me.